Today I am going to show you how to diagnose your internet connection um, by checking to see if you have any internet um, protocol issues or IP issues. And the way we do this is um, by clicking on start and then we click on all programs and then we click on accessories and then we're going to right click on command prompt and click run as administrator. If you're using Windows XP you won't have to do this last step the run as administrator. That's only going to be on Vista um, or Windows 7 and now Windows 8, but on XP we didn't have to worry about that as much. Uh, so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and go up here and we're going to type in IP config or IP CONFIG and then a forward slash which is the same key as the question mark and then we're going to go ahead and type in all. And what this is going to do is it's going to give a, a whole bunch of information about all of our all of our devices. And what you can see here is you can see all the information about all my connections on my machine. So here you can see that I have an IP address. It's the IP address of my machine, and you can also see the IP address um, DNS servers, things like that. So as long as you see a number here like 192.168.1.1 or even 10.0.0.1, um, you should be fine. What you're looking for is if you have a uh, connection like this one where it doesn't have an IP address, uh, that's what you're going to be looking for. I actually have my wireless adapter here somewhere. Here it is. Uh, my wireless adapter It has the physical address, it has all that um, DHCP, has everything it has in there, but it doesn't have the IP address. So that's how I know that my wireless right now isn't working because there is no IP address in there. So if you see that, what you can do to fix that is go in here, um, down at the bottom again, type in IP config forward slash release. Um, I'm not going to do that right now because that'll actually um, break my connection and I won't be able to record anymore. Um, but you would press enter on that and then it would, what it would do is it would get rid of any IP addresses that are in there. And then you would go ahead and type in the same thing again, IP config and then a forward slash and then you're new. Um, it's a very important that you remember to put the space in here. And the forward slash is going to be the same key as the question mark. So you would press that and then um, you would go ahead and get a new IP address. And if it is an issue with the IP address, it should fix any of those problems. It's possible that it could be some other issues, such as the adapter not being turned on. Um, but this will at least get you started in the right direction, uh, connecting your problems. And if it is an IP address issue, it might fix that. If for some reason it doesn't um, get a new IP address, what you can do is unplug all your equipment. You can turn off your um, you can turn off your modem, your router, and your PC, and then you would want to start them in order. So you would start them in order from um, modem first, and then you would wait until that turns completely on, and then you would turn on your router, wait until that turns completely on, and then you would turn on your uh, computer after all those are both on. So you can definitely go ahead and try that and if for some reason that doesn't work what you would want to do then is go ahead and look into trouble troubleshooting um, other things such as whether the wireless is turned off um, you can go in troubleshooting um, driver issues things like that. Uh, we'll go into that um, further in depth into some other videos uh, later down the road um, but definitely check the IP address first because um, that's one of the more common issues. And um, do keep an eye out for some of those other videos later. Um, go ahead and subscribe and then you can keep an eye on um, the videos as I release them and you'll get more information and we can help you get your internet connection uh, up and going.